Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, Michelle Guapo, man. Streets are the fat news. We back with another one. Man, first off, man, want to give everybody a shout out. Like I said, man, y'all been running the channel up, man, running the page up. You know, paperwork dropped on the FBG Doug murder slash O Block 5 Rico case. Uh, and, you know, there's been a lot to report, you know, basically off of these stories. Uh, originally, we gave you guys, uh, we wanted to give you guys the four cooperators because when you read through the paperwork, man, it kind of struck you like, wow, they had four people that really knew what was going on that is cooperating with them. So we definitely wanted to get y'all that story first. But also in doing our research, man, there was a few other like, you know, things that we uh, noticed where it's like, man, you know, we, we also got to report on this. Um, one of the main things being the boy Muwap, uh, Marcus Smart. Um, cooperators one and cooperators two said that once King Von died, uh, Marcus Smart assumed leadership of the old block uh, street gang. And, you know, the FBI really seems to be trying to paint him as, you know, the mastermind or the leader of the whole situation. Uh, it's funny that out of all of the people arrested, Marcus Smart is also the guy who they have the least amount of evidence on. So if you understand how the government works, man, you know, they like crafting a story if they don't just got you locked down. So, man, hey, let's get right into it, man. The boy Muwap, his charges could be dropped in the O Block 5 Rico slash FBG Doug murder case. Man, let's get right into it. On August 4th, 2020, popular Chicago rapper FBG Doug would decide to go downtown shopping with friends. Walking through an upscale department store, FBG Doug was allegedly spotted by a rival gang member, Ralph Turpin, aka THF Teasy. Teasy was not only from a rival neighborhood, but it was rumored that Teasy was angry due to Doug having had sex with his baby mother. Teasy, along with another man, Rachie Dorsey, would make a series of calls seemingly dropping the location of FBG Doug. Ironically, at the same time, a security guard working in the area would be watching TZ and Man Man, snapping pictures of both of them, while Turpin frantically made phone calls. Just doing all the research on the, on the four cooperators, man, we, we really, you really could kind of paint a picture of, you know, the Fed's case. They really laid out, you know, basically everything, you know, with the trial coming up. It was originally a O Block 5. There was five men arrested. Um, then they added six, which would have been teasy. They finally got, you know, I think they had to get like his cell phone data, stuff like that, track him, make sure that was exactly him in the store that day, uh, dropping a location. And then also there was another guy uh, that we'll get to later, but um, he was related to the boy, uh, to Carlos Alford. And tragically, man, you know, he committed suicide. So uh, he, he wasn't charged, but the FBI, um, you know, they alleged that these seven men were the men that actually, you know, put the thought process, the planning, and carried out the murder of, of FBG Duck. And the first man really to put himself, you know, stamped that he was there, that he was part of this, was the dude, man, Ralph Turpin, man. And as he's making a call on Duck, there's a security guard taking pictures of him, which would place him at the scene of the crime. So he was like the first guy that, you know, when you read the paperwork, man, and you just read the story, you know, chronologically, man, he's the first dude that's like, man, he, he locked down, stamped, he was dead. The federal government alleges that approximately four minutes after Turpin entered the upscale store, spotting his rival, a security guard working the front gate of the apartment complex Parkway Gardens witnessed a number of men rushing into two vehicles. Allegedly, at 4.06 p.m., the O Block security guard witnessed the two vehicles leaving the complex. Traffic cameras will follow this Ford Focus and Chrysler 300 as they sped north only six seconds apart. Though the events thus far are only alleged by the FBI, the registered owners of those two vehicles involved in the murder of FBG Duck were found to be to Carlos Alford and Kenneth Robeson. Tying both vehicles to at least being on the scene that day in August, traffic cameras would eventually follow the Chrysler 300 back to O Block, where it would be seized less than 24 hours after the murder. Traffic cameras would also follow the Ford Focus to a local car dealership, where suspect to Carlos Alford would attempt to return the vehicle he had just purchased. When you really look at the chronological events of, 
you know, of the tragic death of, you know, rapper FBG Duck. Like we said, the first man who really put himself on the scene was the dude Ralph Turpin. He got caught in the store, you know, pictures snapped of him, dropping a location, he cooked. Um, then when you look at the security guard from O Block, who is on the witness list, he, he did make statements and he did, you know, speak to uh, the government about what he saw. In addition to there being camera footage, there were two cars that left O Block and using traffic cameras, they literally zoomed in, caught the license plate and then followed them all the way to the shooting. I believe they also like triangulated certain people's cell phones, like people who had their cell phones. I believe like in the paperwork, they said like Kenneth Roberson, um, you know what I'm saying? They, they were able to uh, ping his cell phone and put him there. They watched the cars drive to the location and then one car goes back to O Block, that's the uh, Chrysler 300. And then the other car goes to a dealership where the dude to Carlos offer, you know, he tries to, um, you know, return. If you watch our video on the dude Lowe's Money, man, being cooperated to and, you know, uh, confirmed cooperating with the government, we really break down that story. But the important part of that story is that that also placed two more of the O Block 6 at the scene of the crime on the day of the crime. Uh, the dude to Carlos offer. Like they said, they got him in the Ford Fusion. They got him returning the car on the same day. So they got him on cameras at the car dealership as well. The car was registered to his name. Kenneth Roberson, they got him leaving O Block, committing the crime, and then the car drives back to O Block. And, and that one was so cut and dry. Uh, the government, I believe, they, like 24 hours later, months before the arrest, you know, they had already impounded the Chrysler 300. Of the six men charged in the federal indictment, only two, Marcus Smart, a.k.a. Muop, and Christopher Thomas, a.k.a. C-Thing, have no hard evidence outside of video placing them at the murder. The government alleges that high-definition video of that day of the shooting identifies Christopher Thomas as the individual who stood over FBG Duck and fired additional shots before jumping into the Chrysler 300, but they have yet to make these videos public. The government also originally alleged that security footage in Parkway Gardens identified Marcus Smart as one of the men running from the Ford Fusion and speeding away from O Block at 4.06 p.m. August 20th. However, reports now suggest that the video evidence taken from O Block is low quality and only captured the man's figure while walking and not his face. On August 25th, uh, we, we reported uh, the story about Muop's lawyer who, you know, filed a motion before the government knew it was happening. So it kind of got out there. And in that motion, uh, Muop's lawyer is challenging the fact that the government uh, tried to get witnesses to, you know, say that dark figure running on the camera was Muop, but nobody could really tell. Um, they even attempted to ask like, hey, how does Muop walk? Like, does he walk like how Muop walks? Because the camera footage, although it does show figures running to a car and driving away, you can't say, you can't see anything. When you look at it, man, again, uh, we'll go back. You got the dude uh, to Carlos Offer and Kenneth Robeson, man. Their cars were, are pictured going there, coming back. You got the dude, Ralph Turpin. He's caught dropping a location. Um, the dude, uh, C. Murder, man, Charles Liggins, when they impounded the Chrysler 300, they found some documents or some handwritten notes with all of his information on there. So that's kind of weird. They're using that to really place him in the Chrysler 300. Um, and then the dude C thing, man, they're saying that they have footage, you know, downtown Gold Coast, you know, type of footage of, you know, him standing over FBG Duck and firing additional shots after he was already down. Um, and that really, again, like I said, it really just leaves Muop, who's not really on that camera, not really on the, you know, not really on the O Block camera. He didn't use his vehicle. Uh, it really boils down to cooperator to uh, the dude to Carlos Offer, who, you know, Muop was in his car uh, in addition to his cousin, the one who we said passed away. Uh, those were the men in to Carlos Offer's car. And, you know, without him or additional witnesses that like like we said in the earlier video man we ain't going we not pressing none of the witnesses man so it really come down to very 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 slim evidence on this dude move up like i said no hard evidence no fingerprints no phone type of shit no car shit no video shit 
Really just people saying he was there. It's your boy MX on Guapo, man. Street certified news, man. The most trusted source for urban media, man. Yo, the streets rock with us over everybody, man. Understand that. Also, hey, shout out my boy True Teller, man. Because if y'all watch his channel, man, bro, actually kind of said something about this maybe like a few weeks ago when we was working on the cooperators and i knew i was going to eventually get to it man but i definitely got to shout bro out because he spoke about how you know it ain't no real hard evidence against the dude move out man so again yo hey appreciate y'all for rocking with us man make sure you hit that like comment and subscribe man if you ever already man hey it's your boy michelle guapo street certified news man we out What's going on? I'm Larry Hoover Jr. and I'm rocking with Street Certified News. What's your boy, Ill Hitter, Mr. All Yeah, y'all already know what it is, man. I'm rocking with Street Certified News. We got behind the scenes, man. We're gonna tie this bitch up. What up, it's your boy, Bum J. We rocking with Street Certified News. It's that great. Man, Street Certified News, man. Shout out Big Bo. Shout out Walker. Street Certified.